Virgo, you were just hearing your fellow earth sign. I was just checking it out to make sure everything is all right. How are you? Welcome. This is Kyrie and Tarot. This is your warning. According to your spirit guides, your ancestors, those who exist for your highest and your greatest good, Virgo. Okay, what do your aunties and your sisters and brothers want to want, warn you about? Your protectors for your greatest good. The healer and the watcher with the grouch. Somebody is angry. Because somebody is healing. What, what, what? It's a warning. Be careful, Virgo. Be very careful. Supposed to be one card. I think the other person who got a lot of cards for this one was Libra. Looking at both sides. Give yourself a second chance. Think Scorpio got that second chance thing. Like love yourself. Give yourself a second chance. Don't give up. Let's see who involved in this one in here. Which other signs involved? Gemini. Sagittarius. Scorpio. Aries. <clears throat> It's for you, Virgo. This is your warning, Virgo. According to your spirit guides, your ancestors, those who exist for your highest and your greatest good, Virgo. Thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Thanks for being a part of my life. What's going on here, Virgo? Because we need to know before we even start to read nothing. A lot is going on here. Five of Swords is the enemy. Look at that, man. Four of Wands, three of Wands, ten of Cups. Knight of Wands, Justice, eight of Swords. Somebody is losing their mind because somebody is getting what they deserve. Three of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, king of swords in reverse. Yeah, it's six of wands. We can did it. What? This come out perfect. Well, Virgo, there's no mistake here. You have some serious ancestors. They were waiting for their turn. This is the enemy. This is the person receiving the blessing. I don't know which one is you. So it depends on which one you is. The one is that they are haters waiting in the slips. The haters are waiting in the slips. That's what I would put. So it depends on who the hater is. The haters are waiting in the slips. Ain't that crazy, guys? Let's see what this is about. Let's, let's. The healer and the watcher, number three, number five, and number 43. We can go. <clears throat> it's a bit of reading and we love tweeting so we never tired it's not really that it's not really a lot of reading really because we are number five the grouch <clears throat> dragons have fierce teeth for a reason use them to guard your boundaries and protect your space snarl growl you are allowed to be feisty and fierce when protecting your boundaries and personal sovereignty. It's a protect your space. Yeah. Definitely. Something look like it just sting my hand or burn my hand. I don't know. Mm -mm. Protect your boundaries. Mm -hmm. wow this is some serious shit here there's a time and space for compromise and cooperation but now is not the time for that it says here virgo huff and puff and flex those scales no one messes with you today you get to decide when and how you wish to engage i like this no one messes with you today Let's add that to it no one 
messes with you today. <clears throat> it's saying you have a right to be miserable if you want. I'm getting the watcher. It's time to fly up high away from them. Okay, somebody pronounced this word for me already. Minu. My new tea. Sha, tia. Tia, tia. Minu, minu, shia. Oh, lad. Of life and get an expensive view. <laughs> Being grounded is essential, but sometimes we need a dragon's eye view of our life to get a better perspective. Is your vision too small, Virgo? Are your plans too meager? Are you breathing a little and calling it life? Okay, use your meditation space to climb up 10,000 feet and take an expanse of your life. Take in the expanse of your life. Decide your next move based on that vantage point of, yeah. So, stop. Maybe you need to be doing more. Stop accepting less from life and do more for a go because you can. All right? That's what I'm getting. Next one is the healer, number 43. <clears throat> dragons can be helpers. If you carry dragon's blood in your veins, dragons can heal you. It is like that you want to leave this planet better if you found it. If you have dragon blood in your veins, you're humanitarian. You want to leave the planet better than how you found it. Just remember that one rule of faith being employed before contributing healing services. Just remember the one rule all faith beings employ before contributing. Right? Offer help to those who are already helping themselves. This way you are all able to maintain your vitality without leeching it out in the name of dependency. Another healing principles dragons know is that you can only meet someone as deeply as they're willing to meet their own self. So whatever, so whether you fly high or dive deep, you must understand who and what you're dealing with. Now is the time to employ discernment and offer healing hand in hand. Paw in claw. So somebody is up, somebody is down. But this is a hater. They're trying to move on. They want you back, but they're so brutal. They don't feel good enough. So they're acting like an asshole. King of souls in reverse. They're not understanding. They're not listening. They're very manipulative because they want you back and they don't feel good enough. So they feel they have to manipulate the situation rather than to just release the fear and discuss it upright. I mean... Understanding is here for you, yeah, number 14, because we don't understand. Number 14 and number 22. There are many aspects to a situation. Observe wisely from a distance. Really analyze all facets, okay? Take your time and truly process the gravity of the situation. What's worse, the volcano or the dragon? <laughs> Can you take the, can you take on both of them? Will you choose your battle? Or perhaps is it rather an opportunity for a powerful alliance? Consider all angles and all sides. Should you fight with this person or should you merge with them? They look like it's just jealousy and jealous over you because you're getting justice. One getting justice, one is angry and bitter. Five of swords what they have under here. <coughs> they regretting shit. Knowledge is power and you will find success in truly understanding a situation. Once you have this level of understanding, knowledge and sensibility can stand as power, right? You will come into more power and own it. Knowledge is the key to a million doors. They say knowing is half the battle. True assessment and understanding are vital to a situation. Mm. Take the time to reflect and access and assess a complex situation. 
ease back and truly process all angles. Then, armed with the knowledge, wisdom and understanding you have gained, move forward and take action for success and victory. Arm yourself with a sharp mind before proceeding. Take your time, take your time, learn about this thing, learn what this person, that's why it's telling you, learn how this person acting and reacting like Better to make them an ally than an enemy, like how Rastafari right, did it. I don't know if I'm reading for a Rasta man. They're jealous. They, they might poison you. They, they might can't poison you. Them Scorpio Cancer. Scorpio Aries, Sagittarius. A wicked Aries is a wicked Aries, you know, guys. Thank God, me on the good side. It says you failed. Okay, you fell. Your experience. It's sad. You experience some form of defeat. Now get back up again and keep moving on and trying. Expand outward. Find your, find your rejuvenation and allow yourself to try again. You deserve a second chance. Afford yourself the opportunity to start over. I like this. <clears throat> After the death of defeat comes the renewal of birth. With every moment of failure comes in an opportunity for rebirth. Reshape your life and universe in the way that best serve you. The time has come to be reborn into your new life. Redefine yourself in this situation. Establish new ways of being, thinking, perceiving, and doing. What self-imposed limitation are you holding on to? as truth disregard and disregard all notions of failure defeat and limitations move forward be born again into a new life that is unstoppable and limitless second chances are given if we are open to them allow yourself to experience rebirth second chances are given if we are open to them so you have to give yourself the second chance to be worthy of whatever if you are the one have them acting like that, or if you are the one who is angry and jealous, you can forgive yourself, two of ones, for the future, queen of swords. Protect yourself. Put your boundaries up. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to <clears throat> encourage you to stay motivated on this journey of life. We know it's not easy. Never give up, all right? All right. <clears throat> 